Hey guys, it's Tony Hannity's here with LazyTechGuys.com, the best source on the net for your latest tech news and information. We've got our little hands here on a Samsung Stratosphere. Now, this is a phone that was released on the Verizon Wireless Network here in the United States, and this is the first 4G LTE phone that has a slide-out physical keyboard. So, if you're here in the States and you're on the market for a keyboarded 4G phone, um... Well, right now, this is the only version or the only uh, option that you have. And it's actually a pretty good phone. I'm not really into the slide-out keyboards, but uh, as a phone, the capabilities that the phone has and the price it's at right now, at least for this holiday weekend, it's it's a really, really good buy. So let's get into the deep of it. Um, you're looking at a 4-inch Super AMOLED Plus screen, so it is very, very vibrant colors, very deep, very crisp. Uh, watching videos on here like Netflix or YouTube. It's going to look very, very nice. You've got a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera, so it's going to be great for Google Talk, Skype, and other chat video chat programs that you can use. There are no physical buttons at the bottom here, but they do light up, so they are capacitive. And uh, so in the event that you can't see it, like when you're using navigation in the car like I did on the way home, these will go dark. He's you just tap on it and they uh, they light back up again. Also, with respects to the hardware, uh, you've got your on and off switch right here on this side. Your port for plugging in your charger on this side. You've got your volume rocker here. And then your 3.5 millimeter jack up at the top. Um, on the back... So micro SIM, battery obviously, and then uh, for the actual memory card, the slot for the memory card is right here. So which, that's nice because obviously you don't have to take the battery out to get to the memory card. So easy fixing and easy quick switching. So, um, and also with regards to the camera, it is a 5 megapixel camera with a flash. Um, it is the two time optical zoom. And the video that it takes, it's not too bad either, too. So um, I wouldn't consider this an entry-level phone. It it really is fairly powerful. You're looking at a gigahertz processor, a uh, pretty good amount of RAM, and obviously the 4G speed uh, when you're popping onto the browser um, is going to look fairly uh, fairly fast. So if we quickly go over to like to Google or something. And we just type in Lazy Droid Guy, which is my Twitter name. So there you go. There's all the Lazy Droid Guy stuff. That Okay, there's only one page of it. But yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, also, some of the things that you get with the phone uh, that comes preloaded, you do, obviously, you're going to have TouchWiz. So this is TouchWiz. It's not... Ice cream sandwich. It is touch whiz on the um, overlaid over gingerbread three dot two dot three dot four, I believe. Uh, we can double check that. Uh, you do a backup assistant, which is a Verizon uh, Verizon backup blockbuster. So a good amount of bloatware that comes on here. So if you know how to ROM your phones, you know how to get rid of that stuff. But if you're an everyday user, there are definite advantages to taking uh, to looking at the applications that come on the phones, uh, some games like Let's Golf 2, uh, Need, for, uh, Need for Speed Shift, but it runs fairly smoothly. Um, I've actually had the charge before, and uh, I've also had the Fascinate before too, and so um, Gingerbread is an improvement on the phone. Um, in regards to the other functionality, I haven't had any problems with... Uh, with slowing down on the applications, I'm able to run multiple applications simultaneously. I've really never had to go into the task manager that comes on the phone and kill or exit out of any of the tasks. They've actually run pretty, pretty good. So I, I would really say, at least with Gingerbread, they've really improved upon using the phone. And you know, the battery on this guy lasts me all day, which is very impressive because I do use it a lot. Um, and uh, I'm actually testing out an, an application really to test out how much data I'm actually using. It's called Anavo, and I'll be doing a review on that as well too. Uh, but basically, Anavo uh, tells you how much data you're using. And uh, I use this a lot today with streaming uh, music, uh, using a GPS on the way home from a, pretty much an hour commute. 
but uh, yeah, being off the charger almost all day, um, uh, I did plug it in when I got back home, but uh, generally that's what I do, and that's a lot better, a lot better improvement than my experience in the past. So um, I definitely would recommend this. Again, uh, when it comes to the physical keyboard side of it, what's really nice is that they have a lot of controls on the physical keyboard side, so you can actually search with the search button. Uh, you can also, well, I actually, if you're in the search and you want to go back, you can actually hit the, the back button right here too. You've got your up, down, left, right arrows. On this side, you've got your menu button. And you'll also have your home button. So they've really added these buttons here to really uh, keep your fingers at this um, on the keypad so you don't have to tap up to the different menus uh, if you don't need to. But obviously, you can tap on the touchscreen when you need to. Typing, it's very, very easy. Um, the keys are spaced out evenly. And so if you have larger fingers um, or if you don't want to use the touchscreen for whatever reason, this keyboard is very, very nice. Um, in comparison, the Droid 3 keyboard that's also on Verizon Wireless, it's a longer keyboard, um, but the letters and the numbers are pretty scrunched together, so this actually works out fairly nicely. Um, and so I would definitely say that this is um, a winner with regard to slide-out keyboards. Also, they have uh, some quick functionalities. Uh, first of all, there's a little button here. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a globe. So if I click on that, it automatically initiates the web. And then the other option is that there's a little happy face. And if I click that, it goes to text messaging. And then I can text the way right there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And it works very, very well. Um, if you get this and then uh, over time you realize that, oh, I don't really need the slide-out keyboard, this actually comes with a few keyboards. Um, I downloaded an extra one called Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, but the three keyboards that this comes with is the Android keyboard, the Samsung keyboard, and Swipe. So if you've heard of Swipe, very, very cool. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. But yeah, you have a choice of three keyboards, and you will never have to worry about which keyboard to use because you can always flip through, um, well, th uh, flip through all of them. So yeah, I, um, I would definitely recommend this. Um, in regards to stars, I would give it maybe 3.5 out of 5, and it really, for me, um, it's because of the processing power, the fact that it's not ice cream sandwich. Um, I don't know if they have any plans to make it ice cream sandwich, um, and I don't really need this physical keyboard, but aside from that, everything else on the phone is very, very nice. So go ahead and check it out. Like I said, the price point right now, I can't really pinpoint what it is at every single location, but if it's anywhere between 100 to $150, I would highly highly recommend it. So this is Tony Hannity's from LazyTechGuys.com. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at LazyTechGuys. You can follow me directly at LazyDroidGuy. And uh, obviously you're here on our YouTube channel. And make sure you check out our podcast. We do two podcasts a week. We'd love to hear from you and get your comments. So thank you very much and have a great day.